Well, back to school means dealing with asthma and allergies in the classroom. One group is assessing all 50 states and has created an honor roll. Joining us now is Charlotte W. Collins, investigator and author of the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America's State Honor Roll. Good morning to you, Charlotte. Good morning. Thanks for being here. I think this is interesting, especially for those parents with kids of allergies and, and um, going back to school. There's this honor roll that was created to assess the asthma and allergy policies for school. What did you find with some of the findings? Well, there are millions of uh, parents of kids with um, allergies and asthma, and schools have to be concerned about it. And that's why we put together this report, the state honor roll of um, asthma and allergy policies for schools, to give uh, some uh, advice and some leadership and make recommendations to states about what schools ought to be doing. So what we have found is that there are a number of states who are doing it well. In fact, um, across our recommendations, there are 14, three, 13 states rather in the District of Columbia who have uh, made our state honor roll in that they've um, you know, got great policies and can be a model for other states. And unfortunately, there are 37 states that um, have not quite achieved that, have not made the grade yet, but we're looking to get this information out to them so they can know where they ought to direct their efforts and energies to help protect kids with asthma and allergies while they're at school. I want to talk about Wisconsin in just a second and the findings here locally, but in general, what are the main risks for kids who have those food allergies um, going to school? Well, in general, the risks can be uh, can involve for kids with asthma, uh, any environmental factors that really affect the air that they breathe, breathe like smoking and being exposed to uh, mold, uh, pollen and um, uh, dust that can be present at school and building materials, pesticides and so forth. But for kids with food allergies, a major risk, of course, is food and um, what they ingest. And if they ingest it and they have a severe reaction, whether they will get the medication they need to um, help to prevent, to um, save their lives potentially, and that's epinephrine. And we recommend the use of epinephrine auto injectors at school. Well, a lot of people know those kind of as an EpiPen and having those on hand, as you mentioned. Where does Wisconsin lie in those health policies? How are we doing here? Well, Wisconsin is coming along. Wisconsin has improved, uh, but Wisconsin is among those 37 states that did not make our honor roll. Wisconsin uh, achieved about uh, 12 of our recommended policies out of a total of 23. So we're looking forward to future years when Wisconsin will uh, step things up. But Wisconsin has, Wisconsin has passed a law that um, allows schools to stock the epinephrine auto injectors that we were talking about that can be life-saving. So parents can have some peace of mind about that. Are there any other major policies that you'd like us to see have here in Wisconsin that would help reduce those risks? Well, one of the great things about this honor roll um, is that we've been able to get the word out to other states, including Wisconsin, about policies that they can have. And we've gotten support for this activity from uh, Milan Pharmaceuticals to help, again, help get the word out. So we're getting the word out that almost every state needs better coverage from school nurses uh, at schools. They need to make sure they have one school nurse for every 750 school kids at a minimum. I mean, we, you know, frankly, one would be most comfortable having a school nurse available at every school where a child is present, but one per 750 is our recommendation. I think lots of parents are going to want to learn more, so I'm going to give the website at statehonorroll.org. Thanks so much, Ms. Collins. Thank you so much. And stay tuned to find out what's coming up tomorrow on The Morning Blend.